Okay, so uh, we're looking at this thing. Um, you know, vinyl spare tire cover is torn, but uh, spare looks to be in good condition. Uh, like I said, bumper's got a little bend in it there. I may have a straighter rear bumper around here that we can swap out for that. Um, it's actually still registered. I can't remember how long till September or something like that. But um, yeah, we may want to deal with getting a plate or getting a temporary tag or something. But you know, you can look down the side of this thing, and man, I don't even think. I mean, it may have a couple of door dings in it, you know, on this side or whatever, but the paint's nice and shiny. Um, <clears throat> the tires are in really good shape. I mean, they're not ideal. I'd be more than happy to trade you these tires for uh, something a little beefier or, or whatever. Um, those would work really well on Heather's van. But, uh, you know, you can see inside. It's a Las Vegas truck. I mean, there isn't a spot of rust on this thing anywhere. Um... I don't know if you can see it, but you know, it's got like a little, there's a little ding in the little scratch in the paint right there and a couple little chips and it's got some scuffs. Looks like somebody's run some tape or something on it here. Oh, it says design auto trim. Okay. So it's got like a little, it's got a little black pinstripe down the side of it here. And, um, up top, you know, paints oxidized, like I said, um, Oxidized up on the cowl and top surfaces, mostly. The sides are great, you know, the sides still look good. Um, here's the front tire, V6 logos. Now, I had to sell the grill off of this thing when I was in San Diego to a guy up in LA that needed it, so I'm gonna have to get another grill. I've got a stack of them. Uh, I'll get a grill put back on this thing. <clears throat> Engine compartment is, uh, <clears throat> Aside from a little bit of, you know, tree crap or whatever, I mean, just to look at the thing, it's dynamite. You know, no butchered wires anywhere. Um, it's got a AAA, you know, three-year replacement battery. I, I couldn't find a date on it, so I don't know how old it is, but it fires the thing right up. Um, but um, the only issue that I came across, I was just going to finish showing you this engine compartment. I mean, it's just tits, you know, there's nothing... Nothing funky about this thing at all. I mean, it's as delivered from the factory. Um, but, um, this I see a little bit of seepage. I can see, obviously, we're getting some coolant from around this uh, upper radiator hose. You can see it's been dripping down there. So, um, yeah. It's got a coolant leak. That shouldn't be a problem. I mean, these belts, or both of these hoses have been replaced, CarQuest. And that one down there, and uh, probably you know, there's probably receipts for that or whatever. So uh, I don't know if, if maybe we need to trim that back and and reattach that, or maybe just tighten that hose clamp down. I haven't I haven't even messed with it at all, but I don't think that's going to be a, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a big problem. Anyway, <clears throat> here's the other side. Um, now I seen there was a dent. Yeah, there's a ding. There's a ding right. Right here, uh, little one looks like you. I mean, you could get up in there and push that thing out. It's like a painless dent repair type of thing. Um, and you get it in the right light. I mean, you can see it. It's it's, you know, uh, golf ball size or you know baseball size or something like that. And on this side of the car, you know, we do have a little more of this oxidization. You can see where the clear coat's hazed, and they, and you get it a little bit here on the top of this thing. Um, you can see it here on the cowl. You know, the paint's oxidized where it hasn't been protected from the sun. And uh, we've got a little dinghy here. There's a looks like uh, somebody opened a door into it or something like that, and put a little dent in it right there and chipped the paint. <clears throat> the tops of the doors, like I was saying, right here, the clear coat's hazed out, and you've got you know a few little scratches and whatnot around the door handle from getting in and out of it. You know. Maybe a few little scuffs and stuff down here. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you would just be like, whatever, man. You know, I don't really care about that. You can buff that stuff out. You can make that thing nice. Um, the windows have been tinted. They're not real dark tint, but you can see there's a, like a little where the tint, tint's wrinkled a little bit. Uh, and it's got a little bit of that shimmery kind of, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, they're fine to see out of them. I and you can see right through them. It's not a problem. They're not real dark at all, actually. You know, you can see right out. Um, here's the front bumper. I got in here. My sleeping bag, I was sleeping in this thing. 
uh, during my trip because it's so much nicer, you know. I didn't have to share my sleeping space with engines and tools and whatnot. But, uh, I mean, the interior is damn near mint, dude. I don't even I don't see anything wrong with it at all. You know, you can look at the trim panels and everything. The carpet is nice. It's kind of covered up with my sleeping bags. I get this bump right here. It's got a uh, magnet hide key. I'm probably going to steal that magnet, but I think I've got three keys for this thing. front bumper is uh, nice you know it doesn't have any dings in it or anything like that it's real nice and clean well it's got some scratches on it now you can see the interior carpet in the back here it's clean somebody spilled a drink or something right here but uh, you know a little bit of grease or something right there but for the most part I mean it's nice and clean back there <coughs> This little clip that holds the back seat up and you can see it's nice let me come around just the right rear door nice um, seat belts you can see it doesn't have any tears or anything in it is there's a little spot right here it's like somebody spilt something there it's got some dog here in it i guess maybe the guy had a dog but, um, you know, headliner's perfect, I think. Well, now there's a little teeny tiny tear right there. But it looks good. I mean, it's not, all, it's not all hanging down or torn up or anything like that. Looks like there might be another little tear right there. A couple little tears in the headliner. Um, here's all those records. Got the title and stuff from 94, 95, 95, 06. I haven't even gone through this. I don't know what all's been done to this thing. O2. You can see there's a bunch of, uh, I guess, oil changes or something here. But anyway, there's all this stuff. Then there's the original dealer packet that this is that spare tire uh, cover addendum. Shows you how to do that. And. Um, <coughs> You got your tire stuff, your, and it's just kind of ridiculous, you know, tire warranty. It's like every time they got tires, they kept the tire warranty for it, you know, tire warranties. Um, owner information, owner's manual, this kind of stuff. Some of this stuff I've never even seen before, you know. Um, so far as like, Isuzu America, I mean these things are, here's a, okay, this is a service manual that's come apart. So I don't know exactly which one that is, but um, oh Jesus, look at this, dude! I'm gonna have to, I might have to keep some of this stuff. I don't know if this is gonna go with the sale of this thing, dude. I hadn't seen this yet. This is an original uh, dealer sticker from San Luis Obispo, California. It tells you know, that's nice. I don't know how many of these are even around anymore. Let's see, seventeen thousand dollars. And then the uh, factory owner's manual. So we're gonna have to negotiate on some of that stuff. I don't know if I can if I can give you all that. Um, now yeah, it goes with this truck. Might as well. It's not gonna do me any good. I want to get a copy of it though. Get a photocopy. Um, so here's the interior door on the passenger side. Now this door handle right here, I noticed, is uh, been replaced with something that's not factory. I'm sure I've got one. A factory one there. That's one. I threw this box up in here the other day, but um, you know, passenger seat is good. I don't see, I don't see any tears or anything in it. Um, none of this stuff really belongs. I think the marker light goes to with this thing, but this is not the correct jack for this thing. I, you know, be more happy to give it to you or just give you the, uh, the factory jack. And it's got. Um, got these uh, factory Zuzu floor mats in it and they're pretty nice I mean they're not torn up or anything it's kind of a cool little add-on there's one of the back ones there but <clears throat> get those out of the way and aside from a few leaves or whatever um, carpet's not bad it's not all stained up or anything like that I mean you know given your background you, you'll be able to make this thing damn near show quality really 
Um, probably one of the nicest ones in existence, I would think, with all of that documentation and the condition of this thing. Okay, come over here to the driver's side. And um, driver's side trim panels, perfect. And you got a little arm mark here where somebody's had their arm riding on the thing. Um, the beeper works to tell you that the door's open. I'm going to take that out so I don't have to listen to it. Okay, so there's the uh, driver's side floor. Yeah, everything's good, no tears, no holes. I don't see anything, I mean a little bit of coffee stains or whatever, you know. Um, and again, here's that factory Zuzu floor mat that, you know, custom fit for that floor space right there. And the driver's seat is in, I mean, damn good condition. Not, not perfect, but uh, very rarely, you know, where are you gonna find a 1991 anything that's got this little wear on the driver's seat. I mean, that's all, you know, put a little thread on that and tighten that up and uh, a little brown Sharpie ink pen or something and that thing will be, will show like new, really. Um, you know, everything inside is all nice condition. I mean, steering wheels, a little bit dry, but not bad. Um, 149,000 miles. And, you know, I believe everything probably works. I mean, most stuff works on most of these anyway. And then you get something like this. And you just have to assume that probably every single thing works. And um, if it doesn't, I've got plenty more that we can, you know, pull from. Uh, there's a, we got a broken vent right here. So, you know, that's one thing right there. We'll go out in the yard and get a vent for it. But um, this is going to be a slam dunk, man. Literally. I mean, put a clutch in it and start driving it. It's that simple. I'll start it up real quick. Not gonna run it very long with that low on coolant, but um, it's probably not that low on coolant that it would matter. But you know, fires right up, and you know, oil pressure comes right up, and <clears throat> all right, man.